as we count down to WCW Uncensored. We're on WCW Worldwide as Mike Enos makes his way to the ring. He will face the number one contender for the United States title and the roof razor himself in Booker T. Scott, it's been the hot topic of discussion all day in the WCW locker room. We are so close to uncensored. The wrestlers, WCW executives, the announcers have been concentrating on one thing, the future of our sport. So much is going to be decided at uncensored, not just in terms of who's going to be the in-ring world heavyweight champion, but also who is going to run world championship wrestling for the long haul. It's all up in the air. It will be decided Sunday night at Uncensored inside a 15-foot high steel cage. Wrap barbed wire around the top and take off the door. No door on the cage at Uncensored as Hogan and Flair fight for it all. The interim president of World Championship Wrestling, who obviously hopes to become the permanent president, I think put it best as we see Mike Enos on the attack even before the opening bell. Two men are going to walk into the steel cage at Uncensored. One man walks out with the world heavyweight title and possibly, in the case of Ric Flair, he could be permanent president. Should Hollywood Hogan win, Ric Flair must leave World Championship Wrestling. He is gone. Can you imagine this great sport that you and I love more than anything? This sport of professional wrestling, can you imagine it without the nature boy, Ric Flair? He has been an institution in this sport for the last 25, almost 26 years. You know, it just wouldn't seem right to have professional wrestling without Flair. It could happen. It's just always been part of the equation for, for everyone. Ric Flair has been the man. It could happen. Sunday night at Uncensored. Will that be the last hurrah for the nature boy? Or will he emerge from Louisville, Kentucky with the world title and complete control of world championship wrestling for time immemorial? From now on, he would be the boss. He wouldn't be marking the days off the calendar. Have you been down there? Have you seen the big calendar in Flair's office where he's counting off the days? He's got all the X's. Yeah got about 20 something days left unless he defeats Hogan at Uncensored. Lateral press hooks the leg at Enos. Got a two and a half on Booker T. Well you were talking about control earlier and I'm surprised at the control that Mike Enos has had in the early going even before the opening bell with the attack on Booker T. And it's been Mike Enos in the driver's seat. He's just totally dominated this match. Now goes to the surfboard but Booker T is going to try and get that strength up try and get up to a vertical base just like that and now he can fight on even ground so powerful with such a long wingspan Booker T fights out of the surfboard Enos misses the back elbow oh cross body from Booker T only got a one count on Mike and oh Enos cut him off with a close arm I thought Booker T was going to go for that flying forearm smash instead in mid move he changed it went for the cross body block but Mike Enos gets up and just levels the number one contender to the U.S. title. And Booker T is still down. Oh, man. He has just uncorked on it. Knocked him into next week, and Booker T slowly back to his knees. Enos helps him back up. Oh, here we go. Hangman through neck breaker. That may do it. Enos, quick cover, lateral press. No. And Booker T out at two. Whoa. Oh, Mike Enos now mocking the fans with the gesture to raise the roof. Although I guess he does have something to brag about the way he is taking care of Booker Ooh. T. There's that flying forearm smash that we anticipated earlier. There is life in the former television champion, the former seven-time world tag team champion, Booker T. But Enos, double sledges across the back. Booker T showed life for a sec. But here we go. Oh, no. Cut him off. One of the gut. Whoa, what a spin kick. Have you noticed that with every offensive move by Booker T, Mike Enos has been able to get up and counter and, and get back in control, just like this. Oh, but he walked into a big boot from Booker T. And Booker T ran into a power slam, hooks the leg, lateral press, and Booker T again picks out it too. 
Surprisingly, Enos answers the power slam to quick cover and again a two count. Enos, a knee into the chest of Booker T. Enos, so powerful. Sets him up, measures him. This is the clothesline into the ropes. Booker T with a kick to the chest. Into the ropes. Oh, and the X kick. Into the back of the head, and that'll knock in the next week, too. That may be just the move to change the momentum in this matchup. Belly to back suplex in the center of the ring, and a little break dance back up for Booker T. Ooh. Now he has the crowd support behind him. Everyone on their feet. We're raising the roof, and he's headed to the top rope. Booker T from the top turnbuckle. Oh, missile drop kick. Nailed Mike Enos. Right in the jaw. Ladder of pass. Can he hang on? Yeah. Booker T, the number one contender for the United States Heavyweight Championship, throws another impressive victory, this time over Mike Enos. There's a smile on the face of Booker T, but there was concern earlier with the way that Mike Enos was dominating this matchup even before the opening bell. Mike Enos had the lion's share of this match, but Booker T was able to fight back. Well, this one is definitely worth another look. It's our Castro GTX replay. Castro, the motor oil that provides maximum protection. Drive hard. In the early going, every time that Booker T would come up with an offensive move, Mike Enos countered with one of his own. But there was no counter for this. Off the top rope with the missile drop kick, and that put Booker T in the winner's circle. And now let's send it backstage for an exclusive worldwide interview.